thought you were walking in Philly. In the oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Actually, this was a good song to pick, I'm not gonna lie, wow. Holy crud. I just kinda picked it and I was just like, what the heck? That was that was just kind of a random pick and I was like, gosh, that was really good. I want that beat dropped. I was, I, oh man. Anyways, welcome back. Gosh, it's been, I don't know how long, like three months, a week, a month? Three, not a week, I said a week, whoops. Oh man, but anyways, we are back today with the podcast episode i know it's been a while um and we got we got a special guest today me and daniel got a special guest what's up aa ron man what's good what's dude? good my boy axie <laughs> i remember you dude this is the founder of the ktube server right here in aaron right here man he, he literally had the layout perfect like when the when the discord server was made when i made it he like made it to where it was all it made it look cool i guess in a way so but yeah anyways today we are talking about sports once again sports uh with aaron and daniel it's gonna be a good episode so yeah i mean we we got a lot to talk about we got basketball this time we didn't talk about basketball in the last sports episode that we did we took we talked about nfl free agency which is i mean it's going crazy right now but yeah that and we talked i forgot what else we talked about the MLB. Oh yeah, the lockout. Back. Yeah, but yeah. it's back now. Hey, the lockout. They're out of freaking back. lockout. Thank, thank the yeah. Lord. Holy crud! Yeah. Daniel over here is going to opening day yes, sir. for the Cardinals. Yes, sir. Man, I gotta, I, dude. I gotta go to the Cardinals game sometime. I this oh, sometimes yeah. this year. Sometime this year. Man, yeah. it's gonna, it's man, it's gonna be fun. I'm going to the Vandy game next month. Uh, Vanderbilt. Ooh, but cool. yeah, so. Hey, well, but anyways, let's let's go ahead and get into the topics here. So, uh, we have we have no script today, so we're just gonna talk like nothing here. Nothing's planned. Nothing's pre-planned. So if you're something crazy, that wasn't that wasn't like that wasn't that that came out of nowhere. It's not like the you know Will Smith Chris Rock slap you know. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, the NBA playoffs man are about to come up, dude. Next week starts the playoffs. Man, Aaron Aaron's big on NBA. I know he is, yeah. but it's it's a pretty crazy race right now, dude. I'm telling you, like, Aaron, who do you? All right, so Suns are already got the number one seed. Grizzlies got the number two seed. Um, I don't think the Grizzlies have ever been that good. I mean, hey, last time they were was grit and grind era. Early yeah, grit and yeah, like that yeah, was I'm that sure. was. Like the sixth seed. Yeah, I know. It was a long, long time ago. I think they made second round Western Conference Finals. They made Western Conference Finals one year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did one year and then made second round a couple times. Um, but yeah, I mean, heck, they're they're up there now. They're two seed. They beat the Suns the other night with like nobody. Yeah, and then and then the Suns tonight got blown out by the freaking OKC Thunder, dude. That was a that was one of the more shocking outcomes I've seen in a while. It was like a blowout game. It was like a twenty point game. OKC versus the Phoenix Suns, the worst team in the league versus the best team in the league, and the worst team got a blowout win. That's like UMBC beating Virginia. Like that's that's the comparison that game has, but. Yeah, anyway. But anyways, who do you... All right, Aaron, I got a good question for you. Who do you think is coming out of the West? Who's playing the NBA Finals for the West? I could be biased, and I could say Memphis. Oh, yeah. But in my... In my... I don't know, just my thought process, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm thinking Memphis comes out of the first round and might make it to the Western Conference. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I'm thinking that they either get eliminated by Phoenix or they get eliminated by Golden State. Yeah. Depends how long Curry's out. If Curry's not right. out. That's a big factor. Curry and the ankle that, injury. I want to see, obviously I want to see Memphis, but oh, I yeah. want to see, <laughs> I want to see Luka. Dude, I that that's a very underrated pick, and I I ah oh man, I I like that. 
Yeah, Mavericks. Yeah, I know they they he's honestly carried carried that team to a high standard, dude. They were like they were down low in the beginning of the season. I know that like the Celtics kind of they were they they had a like five hundred record like, but I didn't realize how good they were doing until I looked like this week, this past week, and they were like up there, and I was like, gosh, because in the beginning of the season it was Golden State, Memphis, Utah. And then I couldn't think of who was for. But it was though it was like Utah, Golden State, oh Phoenix, I guess. I forget about Phoenix. Phoenix, Memphis, Golden State, Utah. Those are the top four. Utah has kind of fallen off a little bit. Yeah, they're at and, six. Yeah, and, and now it, it's crazy to see the Mavericks up that it's high. It's crazy to see the T Wolves. Yeah, I know. T Wolves are doing good. Better, better than average. Like everybody, everybody knows that. I mean, not everybody, but usually the Timberwolves suck. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Usually Memphis sucks every year. I'm not. I, I hate to say that. Um, but Memphis this year has come out and said, "You know what? We don't care about anybody else. This team is the best in the NBA." And and. I mean, my thing is, is like you look at the Timberwolves and you look at the Lakers. The Dude, the Lakers, like yeah, fourteen more games than the Lakers. <laughs> That's the most nuts other thing. It makes me laugh because I'm like, dude, I hate the Lakers so much. Oh my gosh, as a Celtics fan, I hate the Lakers. But yeah, I, the Lakers season is just oh my gosh, Lakers season is just yeah, it's it just started over. Off it started like off like a bonfire and it turned out like a forest fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was that's how that's how the Lakers season has went. It's went from a small little campfire and a, at like I don't know, like some some little camp in the summer that you go to like me and Daniel would say Lake Junaluska and and yeah. it just turned into a complete forest fire. <laughs> that's a great comparison. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Lakers season has just gone off the hook. Yeah. Honestly, I... you go ahead. Alright, uh, I was going to say we can just like go through all three of us and say who we got coming out of each conference and who we don't have coming out of the first round. Okay, okay, okay. The bold prediction, okay. So, y you know what, you go, for you go first, uh, Aaron, go ahead. Alright, so I have either the Mavs or... I'll say Golden State coming out of the West. Okay. And I don't have Minnesota or I don't have Minnesota or uh, I'm honestly going to say the Jazz because the Jazz are going to have to play Golden State. Yeah. And the Three Clippers are going to have to play, uh, or well, no, the Clippers are going to play Phoenix. I think the Clippers honestly might have a chance. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's kind of like the Grizzlies with Phoenix or with Utah last year. Utah was like pretty elite in the West. Yeah. Um. And then. Yeah, Utah was the one seed last yeah. year. Because Memphis uh, had to play them. I. I was debating saying Denver for not making it out, but the, but Denver always, like, because Denver has to play Dallas. Yeah. That'll be a good series. I don't, yeah, that'll, I think that'll be interesting. That, that'll be probably, more than likely, it'll be a six-game series, but it might go to seven. I think it might go to seven. And Utah plays Golden State. Yeah. As, as Of course, all this is as of right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, Utah's only one game ahead of Minnesota. Yeah. And Utah is also only one game behind Denver, or mm -hmm. half a game behind, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, but if we're looking at it right now, I think Utah will have a close series with Golden State, but I don't think they'll come out on top. If, of yeah. course, this is all there. Yeah, honestly, that um, that's a... Yeah, I feel like Golden State's coming alive at the right time I think but also they have that opportunity to blow it you know yeah, so it's not, even, it's not even just Curry this year Poole, yeah Poole's Poole. become a really good player 
I mean, and uh, I mean, yeah, that's the Warriors are playing pretty good. Yeah, Warri I mean, the Warriors are doing awesome right now, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had that kind of slump, but I feel like they're finding their groove. You know, Draymond Green coming back off that injury. Uh, there was, I mean, Clay Thompson obviously coming back from two year absence. Like, man, it, dude, it's it's a. Uh, you know, it, it's really interesting to see who will come out of the West. Phoenix has got 62 wins. Memphis has got 55. That's probably, that's the most in franchise history. It's got to be. Like, yeah. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know the, I don't know how many. This, this has got to be the best record Memphis has ever had in the NBA. I don't think nothing compares. I don't think, I don't think they've had a better season than what they're having right now yeah but but who do you who do you got out the east because the east is really close like uh, east is insanely close i don't know because like because it's okay so miami miami being the one seed honestly i, I think that'll change <laughs> yeah honestly it could <laughs> it could seed. It could definitely. Milwaukee, if Milwaukee can win their last three games, mm -hmm. then I mean, the, yeah, the East is close. Yeah. The top four are all within two games. Like, three games. Yeah. yeah. It's. And, it is a whack race right now. Cause I, I'm looking at it right here on my phone. It's like nuts, man. I'm taking, okay, I'm taking, let's see, hmm. I'll take Milwaukee v. Boston in the conference finals. Ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Wait, no, if that, okay, okay, well, but there's still, there's still games yes. to be played. They'll be, they'll be at the bottom, because two will be at the bottom, won't they? Yeah, two and, oh, like, no, in the second no. round, in the second round, oh. two and three will play. Yeah, okay, well then I'll take If Milwaukee if Boston, things I'll obviously go uh, yeah, I'll play I'll play them fighting each other uh, playing each other in the second round. Yeah. And I will take I'm be honest with you. Mm hmm I'll take Milwaukee. And oh. I'll take Milwaukee. Daniel's looking yeah. at us like you done messed up, Aaron. Milwaukee <laughs> and Philly in the oh! oh oh okay oh my gosh oh that's bold holy crud the three and the four well as of right now now this could change Wednesday I mean Philly could be yeah, number one in the East by Wednesday. If you oh anybody, my! If you pick anybody in the top five of the East, you have a pretty good chance of them not being the third or fourth seed. It's oh just yeah! Like, it doesn't really matter if they're the yeah. third or fourth seed. The East. Pretty much. So, oh. No, taking, okay. Who do you got? Who do you got? Bucks or Bucks or Sixers? Bucks or Sixers? Bucks or Sixers? <sighs> I don't know because it's like. Obviously, Giannis is, like, as dominant as he is, you know. Oh, yeah. And he's Defending like, champs. And they and they have Cash and Drew. Mm-hmm. Um, and Philly, I mean, Philly's got Harden now. Yeah, I know. Philly's got Harden and Embiid. And Embiid. Too. Embiid playing at a MVP level right now. And the thing about, like, Harden isn't like Westbrook. Westbrook plays worse when he has another superstar on the team. Yes. He plays good with all stars, but he plays bad with superstars. Yes. But Harden plays. I mean, Harden could just play with anybody. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, I know. So I might end up taking Philly to go to the finals oh, against man. either against either the Mavericks or uh, the Warriors, or maybe. <sighs> I, I, might, I, I have I have Memphis going at least around two. Oh yeah, no doubt. 
for sure. Oh yeah. And I want Memphis to go to the finals. I would love to see the Sixers lo- in yeah. Memphis. Ho, ho. I'd love to see Memphis in the finals in general because they're just such an exciting team mm-hmm. to watch. Yeah, John ja Morant, man. It's not, like it's not just that I'm a fan of them; mm-hmm. it's the fact that like they are fun, a fun team. Yeah, I know. John ja Morant's on his Grizzly, dude. That's what J. Cole said last year, and that's that's just been the case since he said that. And I as mean, far, he's... as far as teams, I don't see making it out of the first. Obviously, Cleveland, because yeah, Cleveland's gone on a down, they gone on a down slope. Garland, Ace Garland's popping off. Uh huh. But um, I don't think. I think if they had I, Colin Sexton, they'd be better. I think it's a. It'll be a really close series against Miami and Atlanta. Oh yeah, but you gotta th- you gotta think too. Play in tournament. If Brooklyn manages to get the eight seed, or the or the seven seed. Now that I mean, heck, because you gotta think that's that. Seven through ten, Brooklyn's clinched a plan, but obviously they could lose both, or they they could lose in the first game in the nine and ten game. If Brooklyn manages to get like a, the nine or ten seed to finish off the season and then win both times to play Miami in the first round, like, like, gosh, that would honestly be scary. Now I feel like I feel like this year's Brooklyn Nets. Our last year's LA Lakers. Is the it, I don't know if that's a bold take or not. I don't know if that's that's a big bold take. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I I don't know. But I mean if it, if if we're if it were to end like Cleveland Atlanta seven and eight Atlanta Miami man. I, cause there's there's a lot that can happen. There's just a lot that can happen. The East is just so so much lovely. better or closer. It's so much more fun. Yeah, to watch to, to watch those games. Cause it's just close. But you know what I'm saying, like. It's just it's just closer there, you know it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, Daniel, who you, Daniel, who do you? Th- well, you, the, I'm gonna I'm ask the non NBA analyst. <laughs> watch it, watch it. Uh, do you watch a little bit though, right? I watch a little bit, yeah. Okay, okay. Give me give me your take. What's your what's your Eastern Conference, Western Conference? Who's who's playing in the finals? Let me ask you that question. Who's playing in the finals? Um, I would love to see Celtics Grizzlies. I mean, oh would, man! That would Here we go. That would tear me <laughs> apart. I'm know, gonna be. I'm that. gonna have a. I'm gonna have a depression. I'm gonna have like, <laughs> literally my sadness corner over there, and I'm gonna have my happiness corner for the other team. Oh my I gosh! Mean, yeah, you're gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to cut the jersey in half and split them together, and, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! I mean, that's that's what you're gonna have to do. I mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's just oh it's gonna tear me apart. <laughs> oh my! Um, that would be hilarious. Oh my! But, but realistically, if if Boston and Memphis don't happen, what do you what do you got? Um, the Suns. I mean, they. They're they're okay. I I I could I can understand that. Yeah, I mean they they're having a season. They're just yeah. <laughs> I could I could see them. At least making it, um, yeah. At least making it to the finals. Mm-hmm. But yeah, without question. I mean, I think every, I think most people are picking the Suns to come out of the West. But you know, obviously, obviously, what Aaron with Aaron's take saying Phoenix won't make it, and it'll be maybe what I, I forget Mavericks I'm Warriors. Thinking- Four out of the West: Mavs, Warriors, Grizz. Okay, so so. My main thing is I want to see a Grizz Warriors rematch in the second round. Yeah. That's another thing I want to see. Yeah, that'll 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 be that'll be a really good series, honestly. If that man, if that plays out, obviously. Yeah. But a rematch in the second round from what? Uh, 
I remember, because I remember, like, gosh, I don't know what year it was when they played in the second round. I forget. It was, it was a long time ago. But yeah. ever, ever, I feel like most people who watch the NBA recognize, like, if you watch, like, all the highlights, if you watch, like, buzzer beater highlights on YouTube, like, I did that before I was, a, like, watched basketball, actually. I'd look. I'd see this one shot every time. I'd see Steph Curry launch it from three fourths of the court and make a buzzer beaten shot. Make that buzzer beaten shot in Memphis in the playoffs. I was like, like the yeah, sure. like the end of the third, and he makes it three fourths, a, a triple quarter shot. I guess I, that's what you call it. I'm not too sure. Like he that's should we'll like that. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, he shot it from all the way down there and said splash. And it's just like... Yeah. That and the play where he argued for, like, uh, some crazy yeah. call. Yeah. When, Kevin, when Kevin Durant was down there, it wasn't the playoffs, but Steph threw his mouthpiece. Like, flipped off. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Because we beat him by, like, ten. Yeah. Dude, the stuff that can happen in Memphis, man. Anybody can come to Memphis. The wackiest stuff will happen. KD flips off somebody like, in the audience. Steph Curry throws his mouth like, beat as a ref. All I'm thinking of about stuff like that is Devin Booker or that one video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Dude, not even two weeks ago, Steve Kerr got ejected. <laughs> like in a blowout game, it was like sixty-two to thirty-something. Steve Kerr was yelling his butt off at the freaking ref, and, he, and the refs just said, "Doom, doom, boom, son, right out of here." Ooh, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. He said, he just said, "Think, think," right out of there, dude. He was so livid, though. I mean, but heck, that's what ha I mean. He should have expected that with Steph sitting out that game, Clay Thompson sitting out that game, Draymond Green sitting out that game, all these players sitting out. That, that was that should have been expected, but who am I to talk about? You know, with that game, how what? It's just Memphis, man. It's just whatever happens in Memphis stays in Memphis. In in the Memphis Grizzlies or, or FedEx Forum, FedEx, FedEx Forum, I should say. I can't say FedEx Forum because it's a too much, too many, too many F's and E's. But um, yeah, dude. Honestly, what about, what about first round elimination. First round eliminations. Um, are we are we gonna talk uh, talk about upsets? Or are we just gonna just just who do you have not making it like no, to the second round? Say, like, um, anybody you have getting swept? Swept. Um. Swept in the first round. Give me. Hmm. Give me Milwaukee and Toronto. Yeah. Milwaukee I was gonna say, is gonna think... Milwaukee is gonna sweep Toronto. Yeah. That's that's I'll share that. And I was gonna say Boston Cleveland. Yeah, I almost said that too, but everybody would have been like, Oh that's favoritism, Hammy. <laughs> but yeah, come on, I mean Cleveland's not I mean, met on that kind of level. Memphis. I was debating saying Minnesota and Memphis, so I mean Yeah, true. I mean hey, it could happen, but there's but the, you know we say like they're gonna get swept and then like the other, the like the team that's down is gonna win like one game like that was Boston last year when they played Brooklyn in the first round, like Boston was bound to get swept, but they won one game because Tatum dropped like fifty, and obviously they didn't they didn't have Jalen Brown so that was like yeah they're gonna get swept but they didn't they won game three and, and everybody rebuilt confidence and then Kyrie just freaking put his foot on the on the logo and and stomped or smushed on it and that you know how mad that made me you know how much i hate Kyrie irving dude i hate that man with a passion don't dude. blame me yes <laughs> Kyrie irving is the reason why i i have i have oh, a little bit of hate in my heart charlotte like, charlotte I being the nine seed charlotte yeah. Yeah. Charlotte and Brooklyn 
Wait, is it the f four teams in the play-in, or is it just two? It's four. Okay, so so, Charlotte, so the seven and the Knicks. so the seven and the eight play. The and then whoever wins that game gets in the seven seed, but then the nine and the ten play, and then they play the loser of the seven and eight, and then whoever wins that game gets the eight seed. So right. Brooklyn, um, I think. Yeah. I just I don't know. It's just, dude, if Ben Simmons could just just play, be able to play. I know, like, dude, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with him. Ever since, you know, obviously the play, the playoff series between the Hawks <laughs> oh, and Philadelphia. Man. man, Philadelphia is just that team that chokes every year, every single season, a second round exit, every single season. That's like, that's like impossible. Like, how can Every you... Time. I mean, obviously in the bubble they got swept by Boston, but, like, dude. 2000... Ever since he passed up that open layup, his life has just been... Killed. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I watched that live, too. Like, in my in, in my living room, I was like... I was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, dude. Because... I wouldn't pass up a layup, but... Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't even know who's behind me, dude. Like... What the heck? I'd be focused on making it. I I might get I might get dude. If I was Ben Simmons, I probably wouldn't get swatted. Like he he's a point guard. He's a six eight point guard, and he decided to pass up an open layup. Like it just blows my mind, dude. It just blows. Oh my gosh, Aaron, you bring up points that make me go livid, dude. Ah, oh, it's just like ah. Other than other than Brooklyn, we have Charlotte, New York, and Washington. Washington, I would love to see Washington succeed with Kyle Kuzma and Bradley Beal. I, I, think, I, they're I, I think they're out. I think they're out this year. Oh, you mean in the future? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Honestly, though, if if Washington, Washington could get a star, if they could get another or or, or a key role player. Yeah, New York. Obviously, they're out, but yeah. I again, I would love to see. Let's see, Julius Randle. I'd love to see him continue to succeed because mm -hmm. he's been he's been on teams with superstars before, but now he's having to take on the role as an all star. Yeah, he's having to carry his team, and he's only an all star. And yeah, he's a superstar. In this yeah. Um, then in the West, as far as the uh, the play in goes, well. There's only three teams that are certified out right now. Mm -hmm. And that's Portland, Oklahoma City, and Houston. And Houston. Yeah, Houston was on their tank season, mm -hmm. but they still managed to tie with Orlando. Yeah. Um, so. Who knows? I mean, but hey, in the lottery, know. though, in the lottery, though, like, they all get the same amount of chance. The three worst teams yeah. get the same. So it's not like it's huge. huge plus, but... also, plus also there's still games to be played. Oh, yeah, true. But, so. uh, other than that, you have L.A., Sacramento, mm -hmm. San Antonio, and mm -hmm. New Orleans. I say Sacramento has no chance of getting in the plan. Yeah, I mean, they're behind five games at the most and four games at, you know, four or five games and against two teams that are pretty decent. I don't know what their schedules look like. I can look at their schedules real quick. New Orleans. New Orleans. Let's see their schedule, if it'll show it to me, honestly. Hold on. Okay, they play. Right now, they're actually playing. They're playing the Clippers, and they're getting blown out by. And they're not getting blown out. They're losing by. 22. Oh, wow. And the third. Mm. Yeah, I guess they're getting blown out. Yeah. Uh, two days they play Sacramento, which is actually an important game. Mm -hmm. Could knock them out. Could knock Sac Sacramento out. Yeah. And they also play Portland, who's already out. Mm -hmm. They play Memphis, which, uh, yeah, I don't see them winning that game. No. And Golden State, again. Mm -hmm. I don't see them winning yeah. it. the head of steam that they have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some pretty terrible teams in the West this year, and that usually is like the usually the reverse. Like usually, it's the East that's really sucking. And you t you told me that last week. Like you're like East is fun again, and then the West kind of turn. Uh, West, I mean, they kind of flip flop roles this year. It's like weird. Mm -hmm. But um, 
San Antonio, I feel like, I mean, it's got to be L.A. or San Antonio oh, against yeah. New Orleans, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah. Because I don't think New Orleans is losing to, I don't think New Orleans is going to be kicked out of the play-in. Because mm -hmm. I feel like L.A., L.A. is the most likely to get kicked out because the Spurs yeah, just play cause... Portland, or they, they played Portland tonight and won by, what is that, hold on. Oh, they won by 21. Mm. Um, they play Denver, Minnesota, Golden State, and Dallas. Those are Man. really good teams, yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't see the Spurs winning either, A, most of those. I think mm -hmm. maybe Golden State might end up, or, or Mavs might end up, like, resting Luka or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But, um... Let's look at the Lakers. The Lakers are probably going to lose most of their games. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. They, they just lost by 11 to the Nuggets mm -hmm. tonight. They play Phoenix, yeah. number one seed. Play Golden State, fourth seed. Play OKC, one of the worst teams. And they play Denver, another good team. Mm -hmm. So I think they might, who knows, they might end up tying with San Antonio. But yeah, I know. It's still like the thing is, is that the most stressful situations in the West are involving the play in. Yeah. The entirety of the East is just all stressful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first round matchups in the West are like nothing. Yeah. Eastern Something Conference I noticed matchups. The Grizzlies are like literally the only ones from their di division that are like good in the playoffs. Yeah. Because it's San Antonio, New Orleans, Memphis, and is it Houston, Oklahoma City, or Houston? Houston, I think, is in the south, I thought. Oh, let me... I don't know, it's like... Um... Hold on, let me... Um... It's not saying anything about it. Hold on, let me just look. Uh, Grizzlies Southwest. Okay, the Southwest. Yeah, it's the Rockets. Yeah, Wait, okay. the Rockets, the Mavericks. What? Yeah, Wait, I think there's. On, so oh wow! The, yeah, the Mavericks. Dude, I didn't even think. Oh, about that. okay. These is five Mavericks, teams. Grizzlies, Spurs, Pels, the Rockets. Okay. So Pelicans, Spurs, and Rockets are all mm -hmm. mediocre to horrible. Oh yeah. Um, and then Memphis and Dallas are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Memphis has the clinch. Yeah. So it'll it'll man, these playoffs are gonna be something. Mm -hmm. These playoffs are gonna be something. Oh man. Well, I think I'm gonna have to end it there. I gotta I gotta go. Uh, it's gonna be. I mean, I gotta, I gotta end it here, cause, man, I got, I gotta wake up tomorrow, dude. I gotta, me and, well, I guess we all got school, but, you know, yeah. Hey, but, anyways, good episode, guys. I, I, NBA is gonna be something, man. NBA is just gonna be yeah. the playoffs this year. It's gonna be crazy. Thank you to Aaron for coming on the show. I appreciate it, Aaron. We, we, we appreciate it. We appreciate not having just us two, you know, for an episode. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's only the second time we've had yeah. we a guest, but, and we needed a podcast. So, hey, yeah. uh, kudos to you, Aaron, uh, for coming on the show. Um, next week, I don't know what we'll be doing. We never know what we'll be doing, me and Daniel. But I can tell you that we're going to be back here next Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, Spotify episode at 12, it's YouTube episode at 6. So, yeah, make sure to stay tuned. Um, without further ado, I think that's it. I'm Caden. I'm Daniel. I'm Aaron. Thanks for watching this. That was so awesome, Aaron. I didn't tell him to do that. I forgot to tell him to yeah. do that. And he and he felt he did it. Boom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll see y'all guys later. Peace.